They're going to receive the ball and will kick off. There's not much wind here tonight. It's a nice cool night, an excellent night for football. Field is in excellent condition. And as we said, this is an important game for both ball clubs as they're looking down towards the playoffs in December. I'll throw it back upstairs to you guys. All right, we, we will have the national anthem and be ready for this game very shortly. Those were the captains for hand number 52 with Matt Mesa, number 30, Nick Riccano. That's a coin toss. Excuse the younger one that came from behind to pick him up. Uh, part of what made that was Greg Walby staying back uh, from his kicking position actually got over to the sidelines and turned him in, which took a little extra step, and Kingsley able to bring him down. But that was a classic wall setup out there, Ken. The kick was to the near side of the field, and the um, we kick return a clear across on the far sideline, and they had a wall. As I said, that was the starting quarterback who did that uh, kick return, too, Ken. Kind of interesting. Referee's timeout. Yeah. And the referee's going to come over and shut the band down, I think. <laughs> That's happened the last uh, several games. When the band gets really loud, they, uh, they tell Mr. Fasano here directing the band to uh, hold it down while Cheshire has the ball. Cheshire comes out with two receivers split to the near side of the field. See what they're going to do right off the bat. They're usually a, a running team. Position, the ball is at the bottom 40. Ah, nicely met. In about two yards. Danny Anderson back in after being out for a couple of games. Picked that right up. By the way, that number four for Cheshire's Jason De La Salva. He's a freshman. 
And in the bottom of that tackle also was Jeff Monroe, number 44 for him. Gain of two. Second and eight for Chaser. First possession, we're early in the game, no score. The ball's at about the 43. Around to the left side again, and he's not going to get anything. Basically the same play. Same Stop. play, and the half of hand team meets that one. Matt Mesa on the bottom of the tackle. And Matt Mesa had, met him head on, did a nice job. That was fresh in. Might want to see if we can run down who else is in there for us. We got a short yard on that, third down and seven. Probably a passing situation for Cheshire. As uh, Ryan Connolly right across from the center in the middle of that line for him. We're back rolling right, looking to throw, being pursued now. Gets rid of it, and complete pass under the 35, first down. 45, excuse me. He was wide open, too. Uh, he, had, well, he had about five yards, and kind of laid off him a little bit too much. You could tell he was really the go-to guy that they had to have on that particular play, but it was the first time. Mike Hayes was the receiver on that play. Man, wide open there, roll out to the right, and a first down to the 45. Cheshire with the first possession of this game. They have moved it for one of the first first down of the game. Up and the middle. Run right up the middle, and a good game down to the 35, 36, 34. Well, got me and Stillwell. Well, 11 yard gain, a little over 10 anyway. That was a pretty good size hole up over, the set, just off uh, actually the, their right guard, a left guard that time, Ken. In the line for hand, the two men kneeling in the middle there are Ryan Connolly and Matt Mesa. On either side of them are uh, 28 is Johnson, Colin Johnson. On the other side is uh, Zach Suppy, is 82. Those are the front four. And a belly two, off of one tackle, forward for about five or six yards. Finally brought down by uh, Dan Anderson. King, King Conley went on that one. I think he missed something he wants to make a double off. Go for it, game. Frank, uh, one of the hand co-captains, Rakano, they were working, the trainer was working on his right knee. They iced it up, and he's uh, limping over here on the sidelines. And it looks like he may be out for a while. Back up to you guys. Second and five for Cheshire. Roll to the far side this time. An option play, quarterback keeping. And brought down by number 12. That's Josh Stillwell, I believe. Yeah, it is, Josh. Another first down, though. First down for Cheshire, and they're moving the ball in their first possession. That's right. We got that was the quarterback. Against Cheshire, it looks like that play is going to come back. You know, the old, the old stiff arm, you can't go on the other player's mask. And that's what the uh, quarterback Coleman did that time when he went to stiff arm, put his hand right on the mask of, uh, of the hand player, and uh, they suck up a pe uh, pretty hefty penalty right then. Was he trying to fight off Stillwell on the tackle, he or was, was it somebody else? That he it was Stillwell that he was given a face mask to, but uh, Josh did a great job staying right with him and bringing him down, but it was that hand on the face mask. You could see it from up here. That will bring up a second down and 15 to go now, just uh, across the 40. Run it. Oh. And off to the first man, he breaks a tackle, gains about uh, three. And off the tennis. Down to the 35. Yeah, actually, there's a little more than that. Three or four, yeah. yeah. But it's going to be third and 10. Hand wants to really cut him down this time if they can, but it's a passing play for sure. Their first pass has been uh, successful. And their first pass was not a drop back pass, it was a rollout pass. The poor Gami almost ran him down too, as far as that goes, so. Big third down play for Cheshire. They've got two men split to the near side of the field. Whatever they want to do, it's the wide side. Everybody rolling, looking to throw again. There's a man, incomplete. Nice. Low. That brings up fourth down and ten. Frank, the ball is clear down to the 35, uh, fourth down, 10 coming up. Well, I would sure think that they would try to pooch punt it or something down there. Aim for the sideline, any of those things. We will see if um, Cheshire wants to try to pin hand deep or go for it on fourth. 
And they're not in punt formation at all here. Nope. Fourth down and ten for Cheshire. Two receivers to the near side of the field. Now it's a straight drop back, and now he's going to throw long, long. Going for pay dirt. Going to throw long, and the man down there completes that down about the one or two. Unfortunately, they're picking on T.J. Naylor down there, and uh, again, we had a height disadvantage in T.J. against the receiver, and it was an excellent thrown pass. It was really a position pass, Ken. That was a rainbow. Yes, sir, right to the location, which was the the uh, end zone and uh, where the end zone comes together with the out of bounds marker and uh, that's what they were shooting for an excellent pass so Tracer with a first down looks like a wishbone type formation this time at about the two yard line and right up the middle aiming for the end zone and he gets it touchdown Tracer they score first with 743 left first quarter well that's too bad had in hand had him fourth and ten from the 35, and uh, they were able to get away. Frank, uh, that's been uh, Han's problem uh, almost every game this year, giving up big plays. Well, that's that's what separates Han from an unbeaten season, really, is uh, two plays. One in the uh, Fairfield game for 65 or so yards, one in the Hamden game for about the same amount. Conversion try by Chaser is up and good. So Han trails Chaser by seven points with 7.43 left first quarter. Cheshire kicking off back to hand, back deep to receive on the far side is Daryl Noble, near side is Jeremy Peter. Good kick and feel it at the uh, 36 and brought back to the 40. Nice job not going down on that by Colin Johnson. That, that was Johnson that returned that. Yeah, he picked that up and he had some room to move because it was such a short kick. Did a nice job. He got about five or six yards out of that, Ken. Now, Frank, we get to see Cheshire's defense, and so far this season, that has been their strength. It's been their strength over the years, too. They just don't give up many points. Oh, that's absolutely correct. They're very aggressive, and they normally one run what you call a 3-5, but they're all up in the line. Ian Milligan in there, quarterback. That's uh, Monroe carrying a ball. Not much gain on the right side. Nothing there at all. Uh, let's talk a minute about uh, Ryan Milligan, Frank. I know he hurt his hand in the last game. That was his left hand, right? That was his left hand. He really uh, actually strained some ligaments, apparently, on the, on the left-hand area. But uh, nothing was broken, thank goodness. And he does have a bandage around that left thumb, but that's not his throwing hand. Second down and ten for Hand, coming up at the 40. Pitch this time to Daryl Noble on the near side. Noble is trying to juke somebody, and he's not going anywhere. Now that again, that was the quarterback who brought him down. Normally playing coming in from a uh, safety position. Did a nice job on that, but obviously he goes uh, offense, defense, and special teams. This is a very good defensive football team in Cheshire, one of the best in the state. And they pursue hard. They got good athletes, not particularly overwhelmingly large, but uh, they're very good pursuers. Third and ten, Pelican rolling right. And he's got room to run if he wants to. Incomplete pass on the right side to bring up fourth and ten. Milligan had that corner if he wanted to bring it down and run it. He, he may not have made ten, but he could have made uh, at least five pretty easily. Now he's trying to go up to Sullivan. Okay, do we want to have Gabe come in here, Gabe? Frank, I tell you, this Cheshire Fourth team is really fired up. They've come to Mike play, Hunt and they've brought some fans in, and they've got a couple hundred fans with them. Cheshire. And uh, we've got fourth and 11 Everybody for hand, and they're going to punt the ball. Now back to you guys upstairs. A low snap. Not even and any pressure. A driving spiral fielded about the 21 by Cheshire. There's a flag down, and tackle, good tackle by Suffies and Stilwell. Stilwell, nice job. There was a flag thrown, I thought I saw Frank. Yep. As the ball was in the air almost, wasn't it? It sure was. So that's usually from a, a position of clipping or holding. That's a hold call against Cheshire. Well, let's see what can happen now with Hans' defense. 
Cheshire's defense was three and out for hand on their first possession. They couldn't get anything. Didn't gain a yard against Cheshire in, four, in three tries before the punt. First down for Cheshire at about the 17. They got a man's foot wide each side. Dan Anderson back in there at linebacker, and he's been out of two or three games. And uh, there's a play that's tough right in the middle of the line. Matt and Mesa, uh, Suppies is there. Now almost a mi mix up on the handoff too by Cheshire. It looked like to me. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Hand was able to stop it, but uh, still gained about a yard and a half or two on that, Kent. Yeah, they give him almost two-yard gain. This time, Cheshire puts two men wide left. Hand is covering them over on the far side, and the roll that way. Uh, quarterback run, and it looks like he's got a first down near the 29. Stopped by King Conley out there. Came all the way out from his nose tackle position. Well, it's a pretty big front line that uh, Cheshire's able to put out on the field. But they pursue uh, with great intensity on defense and, uh, and they block well on offense. A well disciplined, well schooled uh, team and all the fundamentals. First down for Cheshire at about the 29. This way is a counter coming back to the near side, and uh, that was 42 in there that uh, made the initial contact. Kingsley finished off by Anderson and others. Excellent job by uh, Kingsley. The younger coming through very nicely to follow in, take that thing down. Brian Milligan out on defense, Mark Bergami in. Second and nine, high formation for Cheshire. Defense, defense. It's a draw play up the middle, and there's Dan Anderson. Ah. Anderson meets it behind the line of scrimmage. Monroe coming through beautifully on that as well. Lost a couple of yards. Dan Anderson with a clear shot of the ball carrier and a sure tackle. Third and 11. <laughs> Trying to get our high-tech equipment working here, and I think I heard somebody singing on uh, some some radio station or something, Kent. My earphones. This is probably a passing down for Cheshire. They've got a man split wide each side. It certainly is, and they know they can go. Quarterback Watch for the same action. Rolling to the near side. Tight end open. Uh, he dumps the short one out. Good block, uh, and finally brought down at about the 46. First down, Cheshire. I'm sorry, that wasn't a tight end. That was really the uh, fullback coming out. Just coming down the line of scrimmage, a little bit in fair, in uh, plus territory, but he had it open because there was nobody there for him. We're down to three and a half minutes left. First quarter, Cheshire's leading seven to nothing with another first down to the 46. So far this game, Cheshire's had the ball most of the time. We're seeing some pretty good execution here on the uh, white jerseys side. Run right up the middle, and that one's not going anywhere. They came across number 70, Kandela Dara. He's 235 pounds. Ryan and Conley is in the, uh, on the bottom of that tackle, uh, mopped up by uh, Mark Bergami. Yeah, and John McDonald for Cheshire is 250, so they're right guard and right tackle. Both are up in the high 200-pound areas there, Kent. And that leaves it up to... Second and nine. Quarterback, the side, and the quarterback is not going to go anywhere that time. Tried to cut it back, ran right into Connolly. Kingsley and Connolly stopped that play. That's that two-yard loss. Really neat to see. Hand is starting to cover that play now. Third and about 11 for uh, Cheshire. Does Gabe want to say something there? Huh? Hey, Gabe, you want to give it a little shout here? Sure, Frank. I tell you, it's third and 11. I tell you, the leather's really popping down here. Hand is really digging in. And you got King on that freshman, number four, the tailback, Delva Silva. What about King? Run down. Nice! Ah, there, there we go. go. Matt, 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 Matt
Back upstairs. Defensive play by hand. Hunt formation. That's let's uh, try to get Gabe to call this. Friedler is the only man back. It's a high short kick. And nobody's gonna touch that one. They're gonna let it roll. Good roll for Chase. Third down to the 24. left in the first quarter and hand is headed for three plays and a punt. That's correct. The second possession handed off to Jeff Monroe across the uh, middle for two or three yards. Well, he got a good track right off, the, right off the line to start with, but it closed quickly. There was nothing after that. Uh, they're going to give him almost five yards on that carry. Yeah, like I said, there was a white wall after those first five yards, but at least it was a good hole opened up for hand right then. That's the first uh, yard that hand has gained at all. That's right, first positive We're yard. Inside of a minute left in the first quarter. Second and five. Hand it off to Monroe again, and Monroe's fighting forward for a couple. He's following the block of a big number 74, Matt Deconcilius, a tackle. That's really coming on nicely. He's uh, getting a chance to do some starting, doing a great job. the ball at center for a hand is number 75, Chad Taylor. Ryan Connolly is uh, one of the tackles. It's Drew is in there. It's the pitch to Neville. And oh, Darryl! 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 Huh? From the 32. From the 32? All right, so that's 68 yards. 68 yard first by Daryl Noble with great blocking ahead of it. Let's see if we can get Dave on this. Okay, Gabe, how about give us a read from your standpoint? Frank, I tell you, the left side of that hand offensive line blew a hole open that you could drive a truck through, and he just took right off. Darryl Noble, I don't know how far that was, but it had to be at least about 50 some odd yards. And the kick is good by one. And it was almost blocked. Boy, I think I heard fingers on that ball that time. Up here, Ken, but wow! Was that ever exciting? Chris Gavin is the long snapper. Scott Roberts the holder. Greg Walby puts it through. Tie game. F um, touchdown run ran out the first quarter, so we begin quarter number two with a new game. They reset the kickoff back to Cheshire. A whole new ball game. And that's a skitter, fielded at about the 22, swung to the right, and tackled by number nine. Ah, oh, Sully! Tim uh, Sullivan cuts down the ball carrier. A sultry one, took the legs out. Love it, Sully. Ball is about the 32. Oh, man. Frank, that was beautiful blocking uh, to open the hole for Daryl Noble, who uh, busted through left guard, left tackle, and outran the defenders for 68 yards on uh, that touchdown. I think the very important thing for those three plays that we saw, really, was that our guy saw that they could open the holes. Run up the middle and tackle right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that was their fullback. He's just got a hold of him right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe carried forward for a yard. Now, fullback and captain Mike Bennett for Cheshire. He, um, he's the one who called that very important first down. Uh, you know, their last possession. Ryan Milligan, the quarterback for Han, is in there on defense now. He's playing in the corner. Second down and a long nine is run oh. on the right side, breaks through, finally tackled over there, barely. The tackle was made by Dan Anderson, he made the tackle with one hand. That's right, that's really what that was, handy dandy, used his handy dandies that time on that. If he hadn't have brought him down with one hand, he may still be running. 
Yeah, somebody else came in and put on the coup de grace on that, but I, I couldn't tell who it was, but it was Anderson that held him up. Third down and about a yard and a half for a first, right at the 40. If they can stop this play, they can get the ball back. Look for a power play up the middle. Yep. Quarterback keep, oh. and he isn't going to get didn't. it. Gets right across the 40, but he needed almost two, and uh, he gained maybe one. Oh, what a job by King Kong Lee. It's right across the 40, brings up fourth down for Cheshire. They're in their own territory. Okay, Gabe, how about a few words from your uh, sideline view? Nobody back to field this time. It's going to hit and oh, what a roll! Long roll. <laughs> oh my goodness! And it's rolling clear down to about the 13. And you notice who's down there again on that? That's the quarterback, number seven. Holy smoke! He's the chase man on a punt. is really back in the uh, in the depths of their own territory right now, Kent. They're down between the 12 and the 13. We have 10, 10 minutes left in the uh, second quarter. Tie game, 7-7. And Hand takes a timeout before this play gets started. Yeah, the Hand band is going. Hand chilly does it work. I ride the camera down there, Paul Sprague. Active as well. We got number 20, Jeff Knowles, at the end of the game for this play for Ann. Oh. Milligan keeps, rolls to the near side, and he isn't going to get anything. Right, a little bit. That was a, a quick uh, misdirection, really, is what that happened to be out there, Ken. If you notice, the whole team basically went over to the left side, and Milligan just kept it, trying to let the flow go by him. We get a yard or two out of it, but that's it. Monster Milligan. Second down and nine for our hand. Nice wide receivers out here for hand. And Milligan rolling to the right. He's might got to keep. And now he's looking for yeah. Walby. Walby yeah. makes the catch, drags his feet out of bounds. Nice job. Complete pass. He's near first down. Boy, that looks a little short from here, maybe. Yeah, but that was real good awareness down there by uh, overall for uh, Wallaby down there because. He was close, but I mean, it would have been nice for a couple more yards, but he knew he had to stay in bounds, so he dragged those feet beautifully. I guess I'm looking at the wrong uh, markers, Frank. Yeah. It was a short gain. It, it sure was. I thought he was close to a first down marker, but he, he's well short of that. Uh, the ball is just uh, short of the 15 now. Third and long for Han. Tight formation. And Milligan, Milligan looking to throw. Now he's going to bring it down. And uh, oh. there's a man cuts him down at about the 14. Wow. Mm -hmm. Going to bring up fourth down and long for Hand. Yeah, they'll have to punt it out of here. But what a beautiful, beautiful defensive play that was. It was. They strung that out and a uh, sure tackle on Ryan Milligan. I don't know. You get anything off that at all? Uh, maybe a yard. Maybe a yard. Well, stats purposes unofficially, we'll give him a yard. Mike Hominick's going to kick from uh, near the five-yard line. I think we'll see a rush on, too. Two men dropped uh, back to near midfield not, for not Cheshire, much. and he oh. hit a wobbler out of there. It's going to hit and roll out about the uh, oh. 49, yeah, that 48. Was, that didn't look like he was going to get that much out of it, but um, he certainly did. So that's 35, 36, 37-yarder. And no run back, which was an important part of it. Yep. But excellent field possession for, for Cheshire. They better not let Cheshire score too much in this game because Cheshire does not give up many points. Oh, that deep. In fact, that with that touchdown run by Daryl Noble, that's more than the average that Cheshire gives up in <laughs> every ball game. That's correct. That's right. It's just about in the 60s, isn't it? Yeah. Cheshire with a first down of the 48. And a run out of misdirection coming back this way. Uh, Jeff that's uh, Jeff Monroe. I had a hold of him. Oh, what a nice job. Finished off by Connolly and Walby. 
That's one of those, if you could rerun that for the, let's say, the rec league type kids. Jeff kept his eyes right on that belt buckle of the runner. De De Salava coming through there. And uh, didn't get faked out. Kept his eye, got brought him down. Well, a two-yard gain right to midfield. Take, take it down there with your information there, Gabe. Frank, you know, uh, number four, Jason Del Vassella for Cheshire. Ah. And number four, Horace Dodd for Hamden last week. It seems like all the big guns, the big tailbacks against Hamden were number four. <laughs> that was about a three-yard gain on that completed pass. Caught it sitting down. Yeah, that's always... Uh, that looked like Hamden was going to be able to take care of that, but again, that receiver was wide open. Oh, good thing he didn't have enough yardage. And most of Cheshire's pathways have been rollouts. Third down on about four for Chester. This time they'll roll off to the near side. He's looking to throw oh again. There's a man wide open down near the 30. Complete pass. I first down, down close to the 30-yard line. Well, there's no question that hand is awful soft on the, on the pass defense out there. So far, Frank, um, Cheshire has, has not had a lot of success probing up the middle against hand. That's been shut down, so they're rolling out and taking it wide with great success right now. Yeah, they really are. Hand again had them in a position where they had to throw, so hand, the hand players knew that's what was going to happen. First down at the 30. We have seven minutes left in the half. Tie game. And a belly series here. Quarterback still oh, got holding it. Going right to the there. far side and dragged down by Kingsley. Kingsley covered two men there. He covered the pitch man first, and then he uh, made the tackle on the quarterback. Uh, Cheshire, run, uh, Cheshire blocker is holding on to Jeff Monroe, but referee didn't see it down there. High formation for Cheshire, and a belly series right up the middle, and the man rolled up, but uh, he may be close to first down. He just needs yeah, to get very, to the 20. Very close. There's a, depending on a spot. Looks like they're going to measure that one. Zach Soupies did a nice job coming around from defensive uh, tackle that time. Yeah, that's it, cool. it was a second down play, so Cheshire uh, would have two more shots at making a few inches, even if they are short. Yeah, but you never know. They could always fumble the ball. That's good. Gave it the first down anyway. So. Yeah, first down for Cheshire at the 20. The moot point right now. And Charlie Gabar and Chip Frey take the markers back to the sideline. They need to quit moving them so fast when Cheshire has the ball. Yeah. <laughs> They're stiffing that defense now. Wouldn't be surprised to see him go for the marbles right now. Cheshire first down at the 20. Oh. Quarterback still got it. Now he finally pitches over there on the far sideline. Knocked out of bounds. Connolly was covering that play. Let me tell you, I took the fake. I took. I went with the uh, fullback. My eyesight, and uh, it was well executed. The hand didn't really fall for it that much. Not the way I did anyway, Kent. About a three to four yard gain. Close to four. And Brian D. Concilius coming out. We got Daryl Noble in there at safety. Daryl Noble's in the safety. Walby is uh, covering the man on this side. TJ Naylor covering the man on the far side. Just the coach must want some speed. And they're going to run to the near sideline, covered by uh, Kingsley. And Dan Anderson makes the initial contact. Now, the, the younger is really getting a lot of tackles out there. And he, again, we've seen him mature pretty well this, this year already, too, Kent. down on a long three for Cheshire. Ball is about the 13 it looks like. And that dive right over the left guard left tackle. Covered by Connolly. The nose man uh, Makes the initial contact on that, but he's probably got two men blocking him oh, before he makes yeah. a tackle. Yeah, and they're both at 250 pounds, too, so King, the King Kongley has to live up to his name right there, and he doesn't give ground very easily. 
an interesting play here, Frank. It's fourth down, a couple yards to go. Of course, they're deep enough that uh, they'll go for it. Yeah, they really will. I was will. watching their kicker, and I don't think they have a real strong uh, field goal kicker before the game. It's run up the middle, and I believe it's stopped. Boy, that could depend on the spot. Let's hope they have a good, uh, uh, gracious one from the hand standpoint here. Where the referee is standing, that play looks like it's going to go over the hand. Yeah! Down play is stopped at the 11 yard oh, line. That's huge! Hand gets the ball back. 4.32 left and a half. Now, Hand can take advantage of that now. And I think that was currently on the bottom of that tackle. No, oh, they learned that they can, uh, they can stop a, a very potent offense like this by doing that. And then they've got to be able to turn it around and turn it into points themselves. Hand with the ball back, but deep in their own territory. Jeff Monroe at fullback. And Darrell Noble gets the pitch at tailback, cuts it back up to about the 15. Oh, well, that's a good jump. That gained almost five yards. It didn't look like it was much there. No, it really didn't. He did that by sidestepping and tiptoeing. Ryan Milligan, all the way to quarterback, after being injured in last week's game. Second and six, pitch to the right this time, and Darrell Noble, a lot of pursuit there on, on defense. The defense just strung that court to the sideline. Well, Darrell had no place to go. That was a short side anyway, so it, you know, you're running against a, a, a shortened field that time. He gained two on the play, but uh, that play was not gonna go long. There are too many white shirts. Let's see if we can get Gabe down here, giving us some info from his position. Hey, Gabe, let's see what you, what are you seeing down there, babe? Pass play for... Yes! Complete pass to uh, Kingsley. Nice! First down. Oh, tight end pass. I love it. I love it. We'll give the coaches a gold star on that one. James Kingsley with a first down catch. Up to the 27. What, what did you see on that one down here, Gabe? I tell you, Frank, Ryan Milliken had his eyes on Greg Wallaby and he pulled the defense and he hit Jeff Monroe. Uh oh. For that big play. Out of bounds. And you can see that they were watching his eyes on that play. I was right along the sidelines. Oh. The hand sideline was wanting a late hit out of bounds on that play. But they didn't get it. That was a floater aimed out to Greg Walby. I'm surprised. No, he can't come back in the field anyway to catch that. But I'm really surprised that the referee didn't call that. Second down and ten for hand. Ball to 27. The defense on that play had a man in front of Walby and a man right behind him came up and nailed him out of bounds. Milligan's pitching to uh, Noble on the far side. Noble trying to cut it back. He gets a little, but not much. Maybe three, maybe four. He gets up to the 30. Boy, you know, this field is... I mean, as far as the stands go, it really filled in, Kent. Look at there. Uh, pretty well, at least one deep all the way around the field, if not two. Well, half of the stands on this side is taken up by two bands. <laughs> Ball to 30. It's a big third down play for him. Third and about seven. A likely pass situation. Man in motion is Sullivan. And here comes Milligan to this side. A throw across the middle and... Well, he makes yeah, the catch at the 41st down. And he hit from behind immediately. What a nice job for the wall banger to hold on to that. Greg Walby makes the catch in traffic. Yeah, he, first came, down. he came down, set up, and uh, had enough of that first. But he was again hit by the quarterback playing safety that time. Bowman is his name. He looks like a good all around player. Cheshire, like Hand, has some very good athletes who play both ways. First down for Hand. Milligan still got it, rolling on yes. the left side and Monroe. complete to Monroe, first down and more. First down and about four more, 14 yard game. That's 
Excellent play, excellent! Jeff Monroe has not been the target of many passes this year, but he made that one good. down for Hannah at the 45. We got a minute 50 left in the, in the half. Middleman looking to throw again. Cut it in. Going to run. Take him out. Screwing out. Out of bounds. Gains about three, maybe. Well, Ryan couldn't see it then, but he could have uh, really stopped and cut it upfield and gotten some pretty good distance out of it. Second down play. Clock stops. Out of bounds play. The clock should have stopped, but it's still running. Why is the clock still running, Frank? You have any idea? No. Oh, that play was blown dead out of bounds. But the clock is still running. It's down to a minute ten left. Second and eight. Mulligan looking to throw. No, he's oh, no. Intercepted by uh, Cheshire. And down by Connolly, but the man cut in front of Wabi intercepted ah. the pass. That's really too bad. Andrew's on a pretty good drive. We, uh, Ryan again could have tucked that ball away and gone upfield with that. But he, he had the play call and it was going to go to Walby no matter what, I guess. Cheshire with the ball back with just over a minute left in the half. We have a tie game. Seven to seven. Well, turnaround can be fair play. Yeah, looks like they're going to set up a screen in the middle. Yeah. Knocked down by Matt Mesa. Matt Mesa knocks down that screen pass in the middle, and if he could have caught that, he'd have gone all the way in. Yeah, it might have been interesting to see him take on the quarterback on a running running down the field wise. You could tell that was a screen because they let all the defensive men uh, yeah. penetrate and get back toward the quarterback. And tried to dump it across the middle, but uh, Mesa... Mesa stayed back. Stayed at home, right where he should have on that one. Second and ten for Cheshire at the 40... Uh, excuse me, 42, looks like. Another pass play, rolling to the far side. Now the quarterback may run. Now he's going to throw. Complete pass on the far sideline, out of bounds. That was First down at the 45. That was an excellent play by Cheshire. Quarterback had plenty of time to see his man set up out there. First down for Cheshire. There are a lot of flashing red lights over there in the back. Keep our eye on the clock. We're inside of a minute, but uh, Cheshire probably will pass on every down here, trying to get it deep on hand. Yeah, they'd like to try. To, yeah, certainly try to get down there if they can. The pass to the oh sideline, the far side, and uh, uh, First get down. out of bounds. I believe he did. Stop the clock. Complete Jeez. pass. 42 seconds. That one used six. They're wide open on those plays right there. That was a first down and. Uh, with six seconds per play, Frank, and stopping the clock, uh, they got plenty of time. They sure do. Cheshire has not used any timeout. Now their execution is excellent, no question about it. <laughs> Quarterback looking to throw again. Now he's going long, and that no one's way, way overthrown. Threw that one in the cheap seats. <laughs> Uh, see if you can get it down there, Gabe. Give us some info, babe. <laughs> All this. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. I heard what uh, Gabe is telling us, of course, is that Nicky Ricano, I saw them working on him down there. Looks like he's on the right side this time. Stacked up over there. Dan Anderson had the hold of him. That's a shame to hear that Nicky Ricano is uh, on crutches because uh, being one of the captains, obviously, uh, he's, he's a uh, spiritual head down there. That play, uh, 
It was stopped in bounds. Cheshire Crook took their first time out. That'll bring up third and seven. We have uh, 26 seconds left before the half. Hey guys, I don't think uh, Nicky Ricano will be back in the second half. His right knee is heavily taped. He's on crutches and he's on the sidelines. It's just sore. Uh, I think it's just a bad bruise, but it doesn't look like uh, he'll be back for the second half. Yeah. And that's a loss for Hand with Nick Ricano um, out for this game. Cheshire's got a third and about seven. We have 26 seconds left in the half. Tie game, and they'll probably throw every every play going that's across funny. the long uh, middle long. Oh, and uh, that ball that's a catch, guys. A great catch. Who caught that? I guess the Cheshire receiver caught that uh, play. He knocked it up in the air and then caught it on a rebound. Cheshire takes another timeout with uh, 20 seconds left, so they're down in scoring position. That's unbelievable. But he had the ability to get back. I thought it hit the ground. But um, oh, going to get it. Gonna be intercepted. I did too. There's a good opportunity there for that, but I don't think Hand was quick enough to uh, on it. Hand has got to really watch out. This passing game of Chester's is awesome tonight. Yeah. Cheshire down in scoring position here, but there are only 20 seconds left in the half. We just took another timeout, and they're aiming to the sideline this time. It's an uh, incomplete pass over there, coverage by... Uh, T.J. Naylor behind him with Mark Bergami. They used five seconds. Yeah, the pass is only going to take five to six seconds off the clock each time. So, you know, they can, they can do this the um, rest of the evening as far as the, this period goes. Take it down to about five seconds and then try a kick. Cheshire, second down and ten at the 12. And a belly series right up the middle, and the man takes it at about to seven. And they'll stop the clock again with nine seconds showing on the clock. Boy. If my count is correct, Frank, that's their third timeout. Yeah, that's last their last one. one. Uh, although the scoreboard doesn't reflect that. The scoreboard says they got one left. No, that, that can't be right. I'm pretty sure they've taken three. Okay. On the field. At the sideline. Gabe, what do you have? Frank, you got to watch out for Phil Bowman, the uh, junior quarterback. He's got six rushing touchdowns and third and five with uh, nine seconds to go. And the ball on about the uh, eight or nine yard line. He might uh, try to run the ball up the middle. Now back up to you. Whoop. Nine seconds left in the half. It'll probably be a pass play each time. And being tackled, that should be intentional grounding. But they're not going to get it. Yes, yeah, there it is. There's the flag. Intentional grounding. Who made that tackle, Frank? Did you see? I think, I think it was, uh, no, it was. It was number 64, I believe. I get a, yeah, the Kang Conley. Well, the clock says uh, zero time left on the clock. I wonder if that's correct. Yeah, intentional, intentional grounding, grounding loss of down, but uh, the, the clock on the scoreboard says no time left. It should be hand first down. Yeah, but they lose it down. Yeah. And that does run out the half, I guess. Okay, Hand will take that. Yeah, Hand they'll take, take that one because that uh, dodged a bullet down there. You yeah. know, as far as the score is 7-7 uh, seven seven here at halftime, and, uh, you know, that's the same as it was starting the game uh, 20... For two seconds... the team can do I don't know if they did or not but I don't know what happens with delay of a game or anything but uh, Hand could always take a timeout to get the team back on the field and they got trips left three receivers to the left side they're for Cheshire and they're Hail looking Mary, for watch out for the uh, quarterback and now he's going to throw high and I think that's knocked down in the end zone yes. Kingsley is there Naylor 
is there. I think Walby may be the person who knocked it down, but Tercher so. does not score. That's the old jump ball trick down there. We get the basketball player Walby in. And, uh... off of their uh a very very unofficial what do you got frank well what we got i hand really didn't have the ball that much i got him for about 20 plays uh 93 on the ground for yardage and about 43 in the air with a skitter this time is going to be picked up by uh, Noble there at about the oh, 18. Nice. And he cuts back uh, at about the 28. Jeez, that was the quarterback again that brought him down. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Kid is in a lot of plays, isn't he? Oh, he really is. Uh, he must be a well conditioned young man, or he's going to be awful tired one or the other. <laughs> but Hand, I, as I say, unofficially, about 20 plays in the first half, which is a very low play count for Hand. And of those uh, 20, or 13 I had down for. For uh, running play seven uh, seven in the air. Here we go. The second half with Ryan Milligan. Oh, control the ball is loose on the ground. And Milligan uh, does not handle a snap cleanly. That that's one of those that may have happened just from the excitement of starting the game again. But that uh, that was one of Hand's biggest plays all year. That 68-yard run by. Uh, Daryl Noble, he started from the 32, and at about midfield, he kicked it in overdrive. That's right. I had him for about 78 yards on five carries. This is going to be run oh, back no, to the far no. side, and Noble is not going to get anything. No. Thrown for a loss. That's a minus no eight. Cheshire is very sound defensively. Yeah, you could see that they came in off of their uh, positions and they really, really do a great contain job. And that's exactly what that was right there from the outside linebacker coming in. Bring up third down and uh, 17, 18 yards to go for Hand. And Milligan rolls to the left. Now he throws incomplete pass aiming for for Monroe and good pressure on the quarterback that time Milligan threw it just as he was being hit so three and out on the first possession of the second half by hand and it's going to be a pretty good field position at least it should be even with a, an excellent punt by uh, Hominick Mike can get it out there in a pretty good distance but that's asking a lot when the scrimmage line is about the 22. The long snapper for a hand is number 69. That's um, Chris Gavin. Mike Hominick back to punt about the, from about the 10. what our delay is there. You are? Right. Are, are we off? Ten seconds will be added to the hand. Gavin gets a good snap back and oh, nice puts a beauty. Nice punt. Over the head of the receiver going backwards, fumbles it, picks it up at the 35. And a run back to near midfield, about the 48. Tackled there by Jeff Monroe. Jeff Monroe is the first one to stop him out there. And that was an excellent punt. 
You receive a dead saliva there, picked it up on the run backwards, but he, he had got a nice return. He didn't let it hit and roll another 15 yards, which it might have be, right. had he not fielded it. Yeah, you get a uh, almost a line drive punt like that, and that could very well happen. Hand has played a couple of games where they've dominated the statistics. Uh, tonight they have not against Chester. Chester's probably had more plays and more yardage, more time of possession than Hand at this point. But we have a tie score early in the third quarter. Run up the middle and brought down, by, was hit by uh, Colin Johnson behind wow. the line of scrimmage. Colin Johnson and... and uh, Falls forward for a short one. Wow. Nice hit. Kingsley did a good job on that. They didn't let that take place at all. Second and nine, and Cheshire has not had a whole lot of success running up the middle against Hand. They have had better success going wide and uh, roll out passes. Yeah, roll out in the short, short passes. Of course, those rollouts, they do that same pattern. Hand would have a good opportunity to maybe... Uh, still holding, that's a, an option to the left. And a tackle miss, finally ridden out of bounds by Walby. Jeff Monroe uh, made down. him go wide, but Walby finished the play. First, First down. down. That was, again, a nicely executed play because the quarterback kept that ball and uh, kept the option alive for his pitch out. And right as he was about to get hit, he did the pitch out. Kingsley was no man's land there, covering two people on that option play. They needed another defensive man up there to take one of them. First down for Cheshire. And our quarterback still got it around the right side, and he's being tackled from behind by Dan Anderson. Ah! About a two-yard game. Anderson and Kingsley. No, Anderson still well. Josh still well in there. And Suppies. Suppies in there, but Anderson had his shirt tail. He sure did. But he did a nice close on that, too, man. He picked up the speed. And and got right in on him. Nice job. This is uh, Dan Anderson's first game back after, what did he miss? Two. Frank, three, two games with a separated a shoulder. Person, right. And actually, I guess it was halfway through that second game, so it was two and a half games, as I think. You're right. Second and eight, and Quarter quarterback still got a big hole over on the far side. Still well, yeah. finally makes contact. Knocks him down, but a first down for Cheshire. My goodness, does he have Option has, play to the right. He has some speed when he gets motoring out there. They're very deceptive. It's very hard to tell who has the ball sometimes when they're going away from you. The key to that is the defensive end out there has got to be able to close that off. But if he gets blocked hard, and there's a man from the offense assigned to block him. This time... Uh, Cheshire splits a man wide each side. And it's wow. run right up the middle, big hole. Tackled in the secondary, but a big gain. And that's uh, Kingsley and still well in on the tackle, but uh, gain about seven. Ball is inside the 15 at about the 14, and Cheshire is moving the ball on hand. The game is tied at this point, but uh, it's in jeopardy. A lot of movement, good execution by Cheshire. Nice. And, a, and another option, the quarterback keeps in, tackle from behind. That's a good play by Colin Johnson. Yes, nice close. And coming from the far side. The option play came this way, and Colin Johnson was uh, trailing the quarterback, caught him from behind. Third down and three. Ball to 14. Chester has not had anything, uh, any turnovers yet. Back to hand. Another quarterback people. riding it to the right and cut down by uh, Kingsley, but near a first down. Very close. Yes, 
Okay, sir. Sure. First yeah. down at the... Oh, where are we? About the 12? Uh, even 11, I think. And about the 11, yeah. Well, so they can get another another set before a touchdown, but all intents and purposes, it's first down, 11 yards to go to the touchdown. They get a first down between the one and the two. They could go for the marbles here. They got a lot Fisher of down. swings their big tight end to the right side, and it's ridden to the near side. The ball carrier takes it across the 10, right to the 10. Now this is 3.4 yard territory, Kent. Suppy makes the tackle. Cheshire running that option play very effectively. Here's a wishbone type formation. Now they break out of it. I can see him try to go to the right. Quarterback still got it. Going to pitch wide and a lot of room to run there. Finally, he's going to be dragged down by Walby on the corner, but uh, near a first down. Kept him out of the end zone, but he's inside the five. Yeah, third and two, but like we said, they can also get a first. <clears throat> two yards short of a first down, four yards short of a touchdown for... Again, a well-executed play there, Kent, by the uh, option. Why don't you call it from here, Gabe? Gabe, call it on the sideline. Run up the middle and hit Frank, I think him. I heard you. They handed the ball off Kingsley. to their big back, Jason Delvisella. And he brought the ball down to about the two-yard line. So we're looking at it about... Uh, yeah, about the two-and-a-half-yard line. Didn't get the first, though, huh? It's very, very close. The chains are coming out. Why don't you once they stretch them, we might be able to get a little preliminary look. Keep Let's on see. calling it, Dave, very as we close. see it. I don't think so. About six inches short for a first down. There you, there you have it, folks, right on the sideline. Okay, that should be a good. Watch for the quarterback sneak this time out. Okay. They need about six inches, so they're going to power something up the middle here. Well, they, they've already done one quarterback sneak on hand, and that's what will happen again, I think. And it's like they really, they get the first down, and they got four more tries for a yard and a half. Well, somebody can get anxious on this play, though, and uh, cause a fumble. Or... They're in the wishbone. They're going to stay in the wishbone. Yep. Tight formation. Quarterback keep. Nope. Well, maybe the first thing. He didn't get it. I don't know. It's going to be very close. Now well, Gabe, uh, Gabe's right down there. And he's saying it's going to be awful close. Good surge by hand. shot by hand. First down for Cheshire at about the one and a half. First and goal. We will now see power football. Sure will. I don't think it'd be anything but hammer, hammer, hammer. Wishbone, which is a power running formation. Quarterback's going to keep oh, oh. aiming the middle. Is, uh, a couple of those big guys from Cheshire are pushing the whole file. Oh, man. <laughs> Did not get in the end zone, however. That's what they call smash mouth football down there. And who's on the bottom? King Conley. <laughs> he loves this kind of football. 
He really he, gained nothing on that play. He can take it. I bet under that Paul Conley is is probably even wringing the sweat out of the out of the uh, Cheshire players' t-shirts. I guess it'll be a handoff to one of the men in the backfield. Yeah, they'll try something like that. Yeah, there it is. Oh, uh, quarterback keeps it in the end zone. So a little deception there. He did not go up the middle. He went around the uh, left side. Just kind of a little bit like the old video game Pong where he just bounced around and just kept bouncing off the pile until he found his way into the uh, in the end zone. Cheshire regains the lead at 13-7. Uh, to seven. Conversion try by Cheshire, blocked by hand. Blocked by hand, and the score remains 13-7. That, that kick was a little low, it looked like. Yeah, it did. It was, it was low, no question about it, but uh, great job of hand getting your hands up. So many times in so many sports, you hear that, right? Basketball, <laughs> lacrosse, get the hands up. Football, get the hands up, and that's what happens. That could be huge. Now, Hand has got to get back in there, having that good, a good psychology about uh, knowing they can move the ball. We have 3:48 left in the third quarter. Cheshire just taking the lead, 13 to seven, and I guess our scoreboard doesn't work. Fiedler and Daryl Noble back deep to receive. Although Cheshire has kicked uh, kickoff slow, haven't they, Frank? Most yes, of they have. And there's another there low again. one. Another low skitter is going to go out of bounds, oh. probably. Yeah, there it yeah. goes out of bounds. Barely out of bounds. They hit the chalk and bounce back in, but that's out of bounds in this game. And Han will probably take it at the 35, which is their option. Well, let's, let's just hope for our hometown's sake that these young men are able to go out there and get some, uh, some of that good momentum they had early on. had problems keeping uh, keeping the other team from scoring in the third quarter of several games this year. Oh. Run up the middle and Daryl Noble hit right near the line of scrimmage, maybe gained one. Boy, there was almost nothing there. Pretty good uh, penetration by the defense coming in. Greg Walby split wide left, got Roberts to the right. Milligan rolling right, looking for uh, Kingsley, and Kingsley nice. got it down to the 48. First down. That's a first down. Nice job by the younger, the younger Kingsley. Love seeing that kind of action. Nice job on, the, on Ryan's, able to put the ball right on the numbers for uh, Kingsley. Ryan Milligan to James Kingsley, a first down for hand at the 48. Milligan hands off to uh, Noble. Noble is looking for uh, midfield. He gains about three. At about three, you're right. Kingsley out there blocking right ahead of that run. Oh, a little bit more than three. I, uh, interesting, it's closer to four on that particular. Well. Second down and a long, uh, almost uh, six. There's Daryl Noble on the far side, no. and he's dancing, but he's not going to get anything. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Cheshire's defense uh, covers all the holes, Frank. Well, that one, uh, you can't let anything uh, take time to to develop, and that's that's what he did. Uh, Daryl was trying to find a place to go once he got the pitch on that, and there was nothing open for him. Third down and long. Lost a yard on that last run. 
calls it to 49. Probably a fast play here. Milligan rolling to the right, looking to throw. Yeah. Right, throws incomplete, aiming for Walby. Walby uh, stretched out uh, across the uh, sideline, but could not reach it. Yeah, he didn't have enough of the first either on that. He would have had to... Um, That's right. If he had caught that, he'd still be in short. Yeah. Yeah, he would have had to catch that with his feet down to be able to move up field. Mike Hominick in punt formation for hand. We have two minutes left in the third quarter. Cheshire is ahead by six points. Gavin puts a good snap back, and Hominick boots a high one. A good long kick. Fielded about the 17. Man cuts back. I've got to get him. There should be enough black shirt oh, to no. get him, but he turns up. Oh, and a long word. run, and that's their quarterback, Frank. Yes. The only man back is Hominick that has a shot at him. And Hominick will not be able to get him. What a shame. What a shame they had that one pinned in, but uh, we turned that uh, punt all the way back. Wow. That was a whale of a run. you got to give the devil his due on that run. But Hand did. The hand actually had him, you know, had pieces of his cloth back around the 20-yard line. They had him covered wide, but he cut right up the middle, and that was number seven, the quarterback, Frank. He sure was, yep. What is his name? You have him there? Yeah, his name is um, he's a good, Bo Bowman, as a matter of fact. He's a good football player. He's only a junior, too, if I remember right. Cheshire takes the lead. Uh, yeah. Bill Bowman. 19 to 7. Looking for 20. They may go for two here. And they will. Yeah. Got a man spit wide right. Wishbone formation. And quarterback is looking to throw across the middle. And it is not caught. Incomplete. Hits the ground. Actually, the Cheshire man came up with the ball, but it must have hit the ground. Yeah, it must have. Referee was right on that, so. Well. 19 to 7. Cheshire takes the lead over hand with 137 left third quarter. Double back deep. And they kick it in the air. Aim for Bergami. Picks it up at about the 21. Coming to the right. Breaks a tackle. Gets across the 30, about the 33. You know, they, they come down very well and close off the opportunity to set up a, a wall. There's somebody inside, or let's say on the outside of the wall for uh, Cheshire. So still a nice job by Borgami uh, from the time he picked the ball up at about the 20. Got about 12-yard, 13-yard return on that, Kent. Nice job by Mark. Hand now trailing by 12 points. Ryan Milligan all the way to quarterback. And he's rolling, looking to, now he's going to run. Ryan Milligan going for the far sideline. He's only going to get a yard or so. Well, you know, again. Good well, pursuit by the defense. The defense stays right at home is what they do. It's, it's amazing. You see them, they really don't give ground at all. So that when something like that starts to transpire, they're already in position for it. Guys have been the state champions the last four years. So and like, we get an idea of why. Yeah, double L school too. You got to keep that in mind. In other words, they have uh, almost 50% uh, oh, intercepted on a tip over on the far side. Milligan makes a tackle out of bounds, but Cheshire with the ball back. Ball was tipped and intercepted. What I was about to say was that uh, because of the size school, they've got roughly. Well, at least 75% more student body than Han does, uh, which gives them a lot of athletes to draw from. And they're well schooled on defense on being where they need to be. Good reflexes. You can see awful good reflex to, to the ball all the time. It's, um, We've got just over a half a minute left in the third quarter, and uh, Cheshire's taking a 12-point lead and has the ball back. Second turnover of the game, both on interceptions. And Cheshire has not turned over the ball. They, they also haven't had much in the way of penalties either. No. They're, they're to mix up in the backfield, it looks like, but the quarterback gets away. 
stopped just short of the uh, line of scrimmage, so it was an incomplete pass. It was a man open clear down there uh, about the 15. That was really just throwing the ball away is what he's doing. He just didn't want to get tagged for a loss on the play, so he threw it away. He sure knew where the line of scrimmage was. He pulled yeah. up about a yard yeah, short of yeah. it. He was looking out at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a heady ball player. Second and ten for Cheshire. Quarterback still got oh, it. Now he gets, breaks a tackle. He's going to be tackled, but he's going to get a little yardage. Jeez. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't know whether they get grease all over him or what, but he's certainly having a hard time tackling. And was in there on him, but he uh, he got away. Colin Johnson makes the tackle. Colin was a little bit high on him. He's around the waist, but a little bit high. And, and you really got to get him a little lower to stop the legs from moving. Third down and about six. Defense! Defense! Well, now is at 27, and then it runs out the quarter. The third quarter ends with Cheshire ahead 19 to seven, and uh, pretty well dominated that third quarter, Frank. We start the last 12 minutes of this game with Cheshire with the ball. Quarterback rolling left, looking Ooh. to throw, and he's got a corner if he wants to run it, which he will. Cuts it back, takes it to near first down. I would say it's a first down. You know, Gabe was just telling us uh, from down in the field, he can really see where the defensive and offensive lines are taking over. And, and that, well, you might see because there's such a, a size differential there. Number 70, Ed Drew, comes out after that play. It's cool enough tonight you can see the player's breath. Yeah. First time this season it's been that cold, and it's probably down in the 40s, I'd say. We have a first down for Cheshire at about the 20, just outside the 20. Quarterback still got it, option to the left. And that's a good defensive play there by Jeff Monroe, and followed up by James Kingsley. They did not let him take that corner that time. He threw that play for about a two-yard loss. That was nice. Hand covered that particular option sweep well. Time out. For some reason, Eddie Drew just went in for him. Second down and 12 for Cheshire. Oh, right up the middle. Right up the middle. Breaks the tackle at the line of scrimmage. Takes it inside the 15. He's going to be about three or four short of a first down, but a good run. You see, that's Manley going in. I haven't but, called his name much tonight. Uh, well, Sean Manley, number 40, sophomore. He played uh, a lot last game in place of Dan Anderson. Let's see. Eddie Drew in there in the nose tackle right now, trying to give, uh, I'd say, Ryan Conley a little blow. And there's a flag before the play starts. And that will push Cheshire back five. back at about the 19 and it'll bring a third and eight. We have about ten and a half minutes left in the game. Hey Gabe, were you just talking? We're getting interference. I don't know. I'm hearing somebody else. And with a defensive play here is cut and knocked the ball up. Knocked loose. We'll see who gets it. Cheshire recovers the ball inside the five. That was a completed pass, and the ball was knocked right out of his arms, and uh, Cheshire gets it back. I'll tell you, they've had the ball punch their way. <laughs> They're a good team. You can't take that away from them. But that's the second time they picked up a, uh, a pass 
that was actually bobbled or, or knocked out of the way and they picked it up before it hit the ground. And they had good coverage on that, uh, but uh, he still got it in there. First and goal for Cheshire at the four. Run to the right, quarterback keeps. He's heading for the end zone, got it. Think that makes it to 25 to seven. Cheshire ahead of hand with just under 10 minutes left in the game. Yeah, they're just uh, just awesome. They, they can just keep on pounding and pounding. Let's see if we can get Gabe on, on that from the field. Hey, Gabe, what did you see on that one down there? That takes it to 26. I heard it very well in that time. Well, folks, we are having some technical. Okay. We're having some technical things happening here, but uh, we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I tell you what, Frank, 26. that was an excellent concealed play by Cheshire. Right. They faked the handoff inside to number 30 to 34, Mike Bennett, and Bowman took it right in up the middle. That was his, uh, I believe, his seventh rushing touchdown so far on the 96 campaign with 9.55 left to go in the fourth quarter. And has to put Cheshire's some points on the board kick off low. very quickly. Back up to you guys. Picks it up at about the 22, going to the right. He brings it across the 30 to about the 32-33. Well, Hans got a long ways to come back right now with a 26 to 7. What they'd like to do now is just to be able to establish themselves and, and kind of eat into that score a bit, if nothing else. Ed Drew and Matt Deacon Solius are on the line on the left side. Chad Taylor is the center. Matt Mason and Ryan Connolly on the right side of the line. And Milligan oh, making the throw. Incomplete. Looking for Tim Sullivan with three men covering on defense back here. Not a lot of room to move that ball down there. Very, very good coverage. And of course, Cheshire knows that if Hand wants to win the ball game, they've got to get into the air to get it downfield. So there'll be a lot of coverage and double coverage. Oh, that time Sullivan just came across the pattern and it was really zone coverage. And they picked him up as he moved through. Scott Roberts brings in the play and uh, will stay in at a flanker position over on the far side. We'll be on this side. Roberts in motion. Milligan looking to throw, and it's going to go way out of bounds. Scott Roberts was short and won't be long that time, but Milligan had no place to throw it. Yeah, you can see he's having trouble trying to turn his body to to get a long throw off because he was coming to his left. That's a difficult throw at a long one, rolling left. Very hard throw to make. Third down and ten for him. <laughs> Straight back this time, looking to throw. And oh, intercepted. the middle is going to be oh. almost intercepted. Oh, nice job by Kingsley. That ball was going to be intercepted right into the hands of one of the Cheshire players, and Kingsley came and knocked it out. Kingsley almost took it away from him. Yes, he did. That will bring up fourth and long, however, for hand. Fourth and ten. Bergami into the game. Now, I don't see a punter in there, Frank. And will not punt on fourth and ten. Uh, Bergami is the tailback. Probably a pass play. Really 
first down. He can get a first down if he goes. He can get a block here. He can turn the corner. Oh, not quite. He's going to be short of a first down by about a yard That's or so. Bad. Very heady play. Good try on that by Ryan, but just not enough room there anymore. Throw it up to about the 42, but uh, Cheshire takes over on downs in their own territory. In Ham's territory. And unfortunately, there was a great first half, and Ann just hasn't had the horses tonight, I think, to get it done. Cheshire has brought in another quarterback to uh, run that. Ball's loose. Cheshire covers it. Colin Johnson, uh, they're right on top of the uh, quarterback, but uh, the number seven that was quarterbacking is now out, and 18 is in. 18's one of the receivers. Normally out there. Let's see what we have on any uh, weights and measures on him. That's that. Yeah, that's that new one. He's one of the receivers too down there. To Cheshire's credit, they are bringing in some clean shirts here in this uh, fourth quarter. I'll save some wear and tear on your number one guy too. He's he's the franchise you'd really say right now. Option play there, quarterback going left, but he's not going to get much this time. Sean Manley spun him around, and he was finished off by Kingsley. Yeah, and Colin Johnson was in on that as well. And is putting in some other players. Brian Deaconcilius in. Third and about 11 yards out there right now. So Chris Gavin is playing a defensive end position. Third and about 12, and Cheshire takes a timeout. They haven't quite got it all together here. Third and 12 for Cheshire at the 43. Going for the first down with a big, big aerial, it looks like. Quarterback looking to throw, left-hander, and he didn't get much of that one. He either uh, got hit right as he threw or it slipped out of his hand. Well, it was a good surge on, no question, and uh, that ball was up for grabs, but there weren't enough hand players near it to take advantage of it. And Cheshire's quarterback is a little wobbly getting off the field after that hit. Fourth down for Cheshire. Hunt formation. Jeremy Friedler dropped the deep for him. Uh, Gabe just called up to us. You can see uh, Scotty Roberts warming up down here, so Han might do the same thing, trying to get Scott in to get some reps. Good high punt. Oh, no. And, uh, not handled by Bergami and covered by Tusher. Uh, that wasn't Bergami. That was uh, Jeremy Fiedler, Friedler, I believe. Friedler. Jeremy Fiedler. That's too bad. He had it there, and he... He, he got leveled as soon as he uh, got the ball in his hand. I had thought he'd called... Yeah, I thought he had called for a fair catch. I don't believe so, Frank. I was watching him, and uh, I think he was intent on trying to catch that ball and turn it right up the middle. Yeah, that's one of those. It's too bad. Jeff Knowles and number 20 is in there for hand on defense. They got their first string quarterback back in. The ball's on the ground. He covers it. Their second string quarterback was knocked woozy on that last series, so they had to put the first stringer back in. What a shame. Ryan Connolly comes out of the game, and he's had another good, solid defensive game in the middle of that uh, line, and also as an offensive tackle. Run up the middle, oh. breaks a tackle inside the 20. At this point, uh, Cheshire is intent on letting the clock run. We're down to 
a little less than seven minutes left, and they've got this game pretty well in hand. Yeah, there haven't been many too, too many times they've had the ball, and they haven't been able to take it down all the way. You know, in other words, the full length of the field. Of course, Hand did have a nice defensive stand, but uh, has been too few of those. Cheshire has played very soundly on offense. No turnovers. Quarterback uh, hands off a misdirection coming back to the near side. Tackle is the 15. Nice open field tackle Dan, that time. Dan Anderson and uh, James, uh, Matt Mesa on the tackle. Fourth down and um, almost three. Now they, right now they don't care. I mean, they sure they want to get the first down, but if they end up getting getting a turnover in fourth here, deep down in here, uh, this area, they're not going to worry about it. But some teams like to run up the scores, and that's what I get from these uh, coaches up here in the on the press box with us. They want to run the score up. They run to the right this time, and uh, Mark Magana has a hold of him. That's going to be very close to a first yeah, well, down. Depend on a spot again. The old forward momentum. And They'll bring him out. Probably measure that one. <laughs> the measurement uh, came up about a foot short, and Hand takes over on downs, but there's only a little over five and a half minutes left in the game. Scott Roberts in at quarterback. Goes one across the middle to Kingsley. Nice makes that job. catch. Right between two defenders. Oh, let me tell you, that was a beautiful pass by Scotty also out there. The grocery man. He brings everything in his bag. He came right out firing, didn't he? He First sure play. did. And what a nice catch by uh, Jimmy Kingsley. Let me... Uh, he was in heavy traffic, pulled that in and just tucked it away and held on to it. And he got just enough yardage for a first down for him. Hand has not had a lot of first downs in this game. And there's Scott Roberts with oh, the ball. No. Yep. Uh, and throws across the middle, incomplete. He was looking for Jeff Monroe there, but uh, that almost looked like a busted play. Well, yeah, I, I mean, it was his option, I think, to come and roll. <clears throat> but he, he had, was closed on awful, awful quickly. Daryl Noble back in the game, and except for that 68-yard uh, Dash there, he has been pretty quiet in this game. They wow. haven't let him have he, much room. He and everyone else for that matter. <laughs> Scott Roberts, three receivers to the right this time for him. Uh -oh. Roberts being pursued, gets away, my man. Leaves it out long, and ah! it's caught by him. Oh, Darryl Noble! Head for the end zone! One, two, go, 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 play! Darryl Noble! <laughs> Daryl Noble has had two long plays, one a complete pass there. I'm not sure where that play started, Frank. Uh, <laughs> well, it was someplace down around the 20 yard line. Yeah, it was almost 80 yards. Oh, Scott right. Roberts to Daryl Noble. Hey, the grocery man, I'll tell you. We see it two passes tonight, two out of three as a matter of fact. Beautiful job, but a great catch by Daryl. The ball did get it. Slightly by the defensive team. Darrell kept his concentration and brought it home. Hand going for two. Lined up for two. And Hand called a timeout. Jeff Monroe kept looking over to the sideline. Maybe he was short a man on the field. <laughs> just picked it up and ran all the way down. Anyway. Uh, he was went back and uh, planted his right foot and threw the ball as far as he could. Lined up to go for two. Scott Roberts in the control. Three receivers to the left. I'll throw it back up to you. Roberts going to roll left. Going to throw now. And there's a flag down. The ball looks like it's caught in the end zone by Waldy. There are flags down though. I don't know where they came from. But there are two of them down there. So they saw it, whatever it was. Hey, Gabe, did you see that? Yeah, they, they are going to call that a catch by Greg okay. Wallaby. Only against Chase. I haven't so seen the two what the flag was is called for. I think nice it might be holding him. against... Um, well, that makes it 20... Cheshire. 15, right? And the two-point conversion is good. 
And now we're going to look more than likely for an onside kick here. Hand has to well, get the ball back to put some more points on the board. Uh, Take it back up to you guys, okay? Minutes, 51 left. A little bit of luck. And Hand can do a little more damage up here. Pick it up early. Pick it up early. Right to see uh, an onside kick here to see if Hand can recover one. I think so. Let's see if Cheshire. Cheshire only has one team and they're expecting the same thing. They're expecting it. They've got everybody up close. And the uh, roll is very short. It goes across midfield. There's a flag down. Yeah. And uh, it's where they would probably flag Hand for somebody being ahead of the ball. Ball didn't go 10 yards maybe? Well, it went 10 yards but somebody was ahead of the ball over on this side. Giant. So Cheshire did recover. It did go 10 yards. It went 10 and a half yards. There's gonna be a do-over. So everybody moves forward five yards or uh, backward or whatever you want to call it. And Cheshire has 10 men up there within the first 10 yards. They're expecting another one. They got one man deep and he isn't very deep. Greg could kick it over his head pretty easily. He's going to kick it short. This one's not going to make 10 yards. I think Ann got it. Hand, one of the hand players came over and, and just forced the uh, Cheshire player out of the way, I think. We have no signal from the referee. We got a lot of signal from the players. That's Greg Walby with a ball in his arm down there on the bottom of that pile. That ball didn't go 10 yards, Frank. That's a great call. I thought was interesting there is Greg Wolby out wrestled somebody on the bottom of that pound, took the ball away from him. I thought he had it, I really did, and uh, well, it didn't go 10 though. Looks like uh, Cheshire's staying with their quarterback in there. Wing. Well, they have to because the second string quarterback got uh, knocked woozy. They will probably continue to run the ball right up the middle. The man breaks oh, the tackle, no. breaks another one. Oh. And uh, he's finally cut down inside the 30 down in there uh, Jeff by Monroe. Jeff Monroe. Oh. Geez, again, bouncing off tackles. You gotta drive through those tackles. And not, yeah. the arms aren't gonna bring these young men down and drive through him. Keep those legs pumping as you hit him. We have four and a half minutes left in the game. It's now 26-15 and Cheshire has the ball. And another run up the middle, oh, breaks a tackle, heading for the end zone, and Cheshire's gonna score again. That makes it 32 for Cheshire. Thirty-two fifteen. Thirty-two fifteen. Kick good. Thirty-three fifteen. Yeah, there you go. Thirty-three fifteen. <laughs> I mean, we were talking earlier. The hen had an opportunity after a touchdown when four fifty left on the play. So <clears throat> that that particular touchdown only took Cheshire about uh, forty seconds to get it or 
37 seconds to get it on the board, Ken. No question they're a powerful team, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, they sure are. Yeah, you know, I've been smelling smoke up here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hope the press box doesn't unfire, Frank. Well, that's an ambulance again. No, that's an ambulance. And uh... This fourth quarter is taking a long time to play. Yep. I doubt if this one will go very high in the air either. It's a low kick. Headed for the right sideline. It's picked up over there by Daryl Noble. And Noble cuts back. He needed to uh, get a little bit bigger hole there, though, to go very far. A little bit, about the 28, yeah. 29. A little bit more, and he could have got himself another big gainer out there, but wasn't to be. Hold on about the 28, in on that, uh, let's see, number 26 was in on that um, kickoff. Bob Dominoski. Scott Roberts at the control. Behind him is Jeff Monroe. They got Daryl Noble split out in the slot. What do we got here? Another timeout? I think Cheshire called timeout because of uh, the way hand came up, but I'm not sure. A little equipment thing, maybe? I think they saw Daryl Noble in the slot to the yeah. left. Uh, I think Noble may go long here. I think that's what they did. And Noble is just going to see how fast, how far downfield he can go. There's a complete pass to Walby, who's tackled by four men. Ah, uh, that's about nine yards. Big had a good idea on that overall. He caught the ball, actually took a couple steps backwards, but that's to throw the uh, tacklers off a little bit. Sometimes it gives you a chance to read a little bit more. Not a bad job for a young man as a junior in high school. Well, Scotty Roberts unofficially got three before or something like that. There's a complete pass for nine yards from Scott Roberts to Greg Walby. This time Noble goes back to tailback. Roberts straight back, looking to throw across the middle, and he can't quite get it to uh, James Kingsley. No, there was, he couldn't get enough on at that time. Tight end, Jim Kingsley, has uh, been a pretty good receiver tonight. He really has, you know. With three reception on the evening, that's almost more uh, tight end passes than you see in a season sometimes. Nice Some job. they bring in a play. Third down and one for Hand. They need the first down here. And it's handed off to Monroe. He's got the, the first down. Monroe gains about three or four. Yeah, he did that all right. Hey, Shaw, Hand really wanted to, of course, get that. See, somebody's being taken off. I wonder if it was that number 18. Well, they, got, they got a man on the stretcher going out there. I didn't see where they were on everything, but uh, somebody's definitely been taken out on a stretcher. First down for hand at the 41. Hey, Gabe, see if you can see number 18 on the sidelines anyplace for uh, Cheshire. And Roberts dodges a man, and now he's got the corner. Brings it across the 45. Nice, nice job by uh, Scotty. See, nobody open or That's really a coverage situation. Nobody open. So instead of throwing it into trouble, he uh, he took it. Got a nice five-yard gain okay, out of it. Almost five-yard gain. We're down now to 240 left in the game. The scoreboard does not work. <laughs> we think the score is 30. Two to 33, I think. 33 to uh, 16, oh. and it's an uh, incomplete pass. Kingsley was in the area, and so was the defender. Yeah, and then I don't know whether he was really trying to go to Kingsley, he's trying to go to Walby. The, the direction that ball was thrown, they both crossed through that area. 
Third and about six. Gabe's way over there. Okay, let's go down the game. And floods the left side of the field. Three receivers over here. And Roberts rolling this way. Monroe looking to block. And there's yes. Robbie. Complete pass. First down. First down. Down to the 42. Well, two minutes, 18 seconds. It sure be nice to see him put together a good offensive drive. So he's always got to look forward to the next game, too. Uh, Hand played a beautiful game so far, really, overall, against this very outstanding Cheshire team. People got to remember that Cheshire has four winning seasons, 49 straight winning, uh, winning football games. And that allows an awful lot of scrubs to get in there, Kent, and get, get some significant time. Sure There's Scott Roberts rolling right, and a nice catch over on the sideline by Walby, probably. Walby. Greg Walby goes high and brings it in. Five-yard game. Just about. Clock is stopped with 151 left. A lot of people leaving already, but I kind of don't blame them when you know how hard it is to get out of this field, Ken. I am impressed, though, how well Hand is playing at this point, knowing that this game is out of reach on him. It's a dump off pass to uh, Noble. Noble oh. loses the ball. Is covered by Cheshire. Daryl Noble had the ball knocked out of his arm. Covered by Cheshire. Another turnover. Well, that's too bad because that was a good overall play. That was a nice looking play. Yeah, it really was. And it just got tipped out of the. Just got tipped out of Daryl's arms as he got going there. We have 144 left in the game. Yeah, Gabe's just giving a read on who's in the ambulance, and they did say it's one of the Cheshire ball players with a mild concussion, which we are sorry to hear, but that's kind of why we thought player number 18 wasn't back in the game. There to run up the oh, middle no. and breaks a tackle, breaks right, another one. This man's going to go quite a ways. Finally, a hold down from behind by Matt Mesa. Matt Mesa kept with the ball that time. Mesa <laughs> Well, we hope not, but it certainly looks like Gabe again is cruising the side of Jared Vanderbeek is number 18. He's a senior. was doing quarterback duties and also receiving duties out there. And we do think he may be the young man being going. 115 left in the game. All right, Chess, just keeping on the... Uh, Keeping on the pressure. Oh, taking a knee. Yeah. Gonna just play the clock out and killing the clock. Yeah. Have nobody get injured this way. Which I gotta hand them that a little bit anyway. We're down to a minute left in the game, and Cheshire safely ahead in this one. Although the halftime score was seven to seven. Seven to seven, and it was so exciting. It was it was unbelievably exciting at that point, and and it just. Cheshire kept wearing hand down, but hand has not given up one little bit the whole game. I mean, as, as was indicative of the block, the block point, the keeping of uh, Cheshire from getting the two-point conserve version as well. So hand can't hold their head high, I think, at this point, Kent. Hand does take a timeout. I'm not sure why, but they've taken a time out here, probably to get some more players in. Oh, uh, this is somehow or other, this is in the book that you had to do, I guess. <laughs> You know, you never give up in football or something like that, but... Huh? Okay, I'm going to throw it down and... We're going to throw down a Gabe on the uh, field down there and see if Gabe can give us a little bit of info of what he's finding out down there. And Hand has not given up throughout this game with 37 seconds left. And Take it away. Yeah, they with have, Frank, uh, they, they've hung tough, but they played a good uh, Cheshire team. You know, Cheshire uh, won 49 straight ball games. They haven't almost lost a game in five years. Uh, you know, they were number one for a long time. We're under a minute to go here in the uh, fourth quarter. And uh, Hand isn't giving up, you know, and uh, that's good to see. There's always next week. Back up to you guys. Okay, here we are back with us now, Kent. Yeah, we're. <laughs> 
That's quite a bit. Excuse us for talking over each other. <laughs> well, hey, we can get this down eventually. <laughs> you know, we do have the, the year 2000 coming up when we may do some special things, so we got some time to practice. But that quarterback, I'll tell you, I, I said earlier, I think he's the whole franchise. Phil Bowman, for Cheshire, he does it all, doesn't he? He plays both ways, and uh, he's a good runner, a good passer. Special teams. Particularly good defensive man, I thought. Play, but he's uh, still Cheshire. going for the marbles. It looks like he's going to throw it. He's going to throw short, stay in bounds. Uh, that'll be a first down for Cheshire down at about the 22. And the time stops, clock stops while they change the chains. I don't think it's in the football. An awful lot of time playing varsity sports at a very high level.